it's Jamie and welcome back to my channel. It is Tuesday, February 18th and I am back today with another weekly cross-stitching update. So I'm going, to, I'm going to start off by showing what I worked on right after my last video. And right after my last video I decided I was going to work on Tarot Town 2 which is artwork by Cyril Marchetti and charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. I will insert here where it was previously and let me get the fabric folded. Here is where it is now. So I pulled this one out because I am using this for one of the Full Coverage Fanatics National Park Challenges. And for that you need to do 4,000 stitches. And I had 2,500 stitches completed and I needed to do another 1,500 stitches. I ended up working on this on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And on Friday I reached the 4,000 stitch mark and was able to put this one away. And yeah, so I'm stitching this on 22 count Hardinger, 2 over 1 full cross, which I don't really recommend. And I would actually suggest if you are starting a Heaven and Earth Designs and you have never done a full coverage chart and you don't know what size fabric you want to use or what count of fabric you want to use, I recommend going onto the Heaven and Earth website and you can order sample pieces of fabric. So this here is a sample piece of 32 count when I was testing 32 and I decided that I don't actually like 32 for full coverage for me because, okay, I'll, I don't know if you can really see, but two strands of tent stitch was too thick. Um, this was one strand somewhere. One strand was, I think, right here, and you can kind of see the fabric through, so I wasn't a fan of that, and I just ended up not liking 32. So you can order sample pieces on Heaven and Earth website. It's a good idea so that you're not using a fabric that you find out that you hate and you don't like the coverage on. Anyways, so back to this. So... The way that I'm stitching this is I started stitching this in 2012. It was my first Heaven and Earth and it was my first large full coverage. And I was stitching it page by page and row by row. So I finished the first row, started the second row, just going page by page. And then last year for Stitch Mania, I decided to do Page Start Mania. And I just started a bunch of pages going around the outside of the chart. And then when I pulled it out this year, I decided that I wanted to start stitching it extreme cross country by color. So I am starting with black because black is the most used color. And so I'm just starting from the bottom and stitching. These are going to be trees going up. And I think there's 15,000 stitches left of black. So I'm going to be stitching black on this for a long time before I get two more colors. But this one is going to be put away now that I have finished my um, park and full coverage fanatics. And I'm going to be stitching other um, pieces for the other parts. So that one is done. So I worked on that one until Friday and then on Saturday I went to my parents house and so I wanted something that was easy to stitch and I also decided that I needed to pull this project out so that I could reach my goal on the project for this month. So I ended up pulling out Castles in the Air by Long Dog Samplers and I will insert here where it was when I started working on it. And here is where it is now. Um. Uh, this is being stitched on 18 Count Ada from Picture This Plus and The Color Huntress, and I am using Silks For You PR053. I think I have it somewhere. Where is it? Here's where it looks like. This is a mess now because I've just been pulling things off and not really making it look nice. So that is what that looks like. And I am stitching this using one strand, so one over one full cross. And I like the coverage. I did a test patch when I first started it somewhere. It's along the outside edge somewhere over here. I did a test patch with two strands and two strands was too thick for my liking. And so I ended up going with one strand. So like I've said, test the coverage before you actually start so that you don't end up hating your coverage. So test. Um, my goal for this is to finish the page that I'm working on. I am working on page nine. And I want to have this page finished before the end of February, so I need to get my butt stitching this page. The page, I'm almost at the top of the page, I think the top of the page is here, and then the page ends somewhere right around here. There's like half of one of these things that goes right here, and then that will be the side of the page, and I'll just need to stitch this bottom corner. So my goal for this, like I said, is I want to do one page a month, so I need to finish the page for February. And then I want to have this finished by my birthday in July. So I need to get the page finished. 
do it, stitch it. And like I said, I can't believe that it's almost the end of February. It really snuck up on me. I had said at the beginning of the month that I was not going to wait until the last minute to finish that page, and now we are getting close to last minute. So I need to get going. And then um, Sunday, Sunday I worked on Game of Thrones. It's a limited edition chart from Tilt and Crafts, and I will insert here where it was in my last video. Yeah. Weird noises. <laughs> and here is where it is now. I am stitching this on 28 count even weave, one over one full cross. And I started it doing 10 stitch wide diagonals, and then when I saw that I was getting close to Littlefinger's face, that is Littlefinger if you don't watch the show, uh, I jumped over to his face because I wanted to see what he was going to look like. And then after I did most of his face, I decided I would go back to the diagonals, but I switched to 20 stitch wide diagonals. And I am stitching this using Pattern Keeper, so it puts all the diagonals in for me, so I don't have to do that myself. So there's where I am on that. I am also using this for a full coverage Fanatics National Park Challenge, and I think I need to do another thousand stitches on this before I will have finished that one. So that was Sunday. And then yesterday, so Monday, I ended up pulling out Dear Alice. It's artwork by Shu and charted by Artisy. And there's floss. And here's where it was in my previous video. And here it is now. So this is another piece that I am doing extreme cross country by color. The color that is most used is black. And I think there are 27,000 more stitches left to do in black. And I started working up the side of this page. And I think I did 400 stitches yesterday. I am stitching this on 18 count Ada two over one full cross, and I am liking it. The Ada is super simple to stitch on, and it's just easy. So I am also using this for a full coverage Fanatic National Park, and I need to do another 3,000 stitches on this before this will get put away. So I will be keeping this out this week and continuing working on this. So uh, that is all of the cross stitch progress. And for purchases, I actually have one purchase this week. I ended up purchasing one color of floss, but I bought a, I bought a cone. So I had been looking at cones of black for a while, and they have them on sale a lot on Joanne's website. They don't actually sell them in stores, I don't think. I think you can only get them online. And they are on sale a lot of times for $35, but normally they want to charge like $7 shipping, and I did not want to pay $7 shipping. So last weekend for President's Day they had free shipping, and so I ended up buying the very large cone of 310. The cone is 2,279 yards, and a normal skein of floss is 8.7 yards. That means that one cone of the large cones is 261 skeins of floss. And so I did the math because I had to do all the math on this before I ordered it because that's just the way I am. And so if you were to buy that many skeins of floss on sale for 40 cents, because 40 cents seems to be a pretty common sale price at Joann's. They always do that sale where it's like five skeins for two dollars or whatever then it would cost you $104 to buy 261 skeins, where the large cone was only $35 with free shipping. So it ends up being a great deal if you need that much black, which I think I, I don't know if I'll ever need 261 skeins, but if you're also saving money, it's kind of like one of those Costco things where it's like, do you really need 60 fruit by the foot? But they're cheap, so you just buy the big box of 60 fruit by the foot, and you're just like, I will deal with this and that's kind of how I'm going to be with black. I'm going to have all this black, so I'm just going to be stitching everything in 310 for the rest of my life. So that was the only purchase for the week, and yeah. So my plans for next week is I'm going to be stitching on Dear Alice and Game of Thrones for the National Parks challenges to get those 4,000 stitches, hopefully. I will be working on Castles in the Air to hopefully have my page finished for the month because I need to finish the page in February so I don't get behind. And then... I think I might pull out Rainbow Basin. So I will show that one time real quick. Rainbow Basin is artwork by Ember Pep, charted by Tilt and Crafts. And I'm stitching this on 36 count even weave, one over one tent stitch. I almost couldn't remember there for a second. 
So I want to pull this one out just so I have something that's more colorful because Castles in the Air is kind of a neutral um, floss. And then obviously Dear Alice is just a lot of black. And then Game of Thrones is a lot of dark colors. So I want something that's more bright. And this is perfect for that. So I will also be working on this. And yes. So I think that's it. Thank you everyone for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. I hope that everyone is doing awesome and is getting a lot of cross stitch in. And I will see you all in my next video, hopefully next week, with hopefully more cross-stitching progress. So, and hopefully a big DMC cone will be here. I'll just have it sitting like right here. My large cone of black. I'm so excited for it though. So thank you for watching. Bye everyone.